What's up guys? We are back at it again with another video and we are finna read um chapter 13, I believe it is of the Trophy Wife, but it's chapter 2 of book 2. So I already fixed the doubles so we can just go ahead and get straight into the story. Did you do it? So we are at our vacation home that following night. Oh yeah, so last episode we decided that we were going to move to New York with Brooke. Back to my old stumbling grounds. Maybe, actually maybe we shouldn't take anything. We'll start from scratch. Can you put that stuff back? You're killing me. Sorry, I would help but two cakes are baking in here. I know, I know. I'm going to pack some snacks first, then we can go. When I left New York, I promised myself I'd never look back. Then I endured so much heartache there. But lately, I've been reflecting more than ever. And oddly, it's no other place I'd rather be. I'm really going to miss this view. <clears throat> it's so gorgeous at night. I long to be as calm as the waters at night, but even they weren't as spellbinding. Their rough sometimes rumbled even, yet Sinir always found its place to back them. I'd do anything for my life to be just that again still. It's Stefan. Yeah. Although I've distanced myself and I have a hell of a good reason to, so I still care about my husband's safety. I love the men, despite all of the odds stacked against us, including him. Hello. Hearing Yasmin's voice always put me at ease. Even when, while being thousands of miles away, it made the hotel room feel like home. Sorry about that. I'm here. I just wanted to let you know we made it to Florida. I'm in the hotel room now. That's good. Well, I'm going. Yasmin, I love you. I know I began to sound like a broken record, but I had to reassure her of it. Even if it helps a little bit. Her not saying it back hurt, but with the way things are going, I can't blame her. Who knew a four-letter word that I usually say in an instant became an unruly enough for my mouth to form the word. Yeah, but well, you got a funny way of showing it. I've only said that word to people that I've trusted and would do anything for. I'd say that I trust Stefan no longer. Baby, calm down. Ugh, he makes me sick. Whatever, I have to go. I didn't want to tell him immediately that I was moving back to New York. I knew he tried to forbid it and that sparked another argument that we didn't need. Brick and I are going on a spa trip for a few days. I'll talk to you whenever I can. I don't know how to lie at all. I hope it sounds believable. I knew that she needed this. Some time to relax. That sounds great, babe. Just make sure you don't go inside of the sauna, get a tan, or inside of the hot tub. Heat isn't good for the babies. Alright, I picked up a few books for fathers to be as soon as I found out she was pregnant. Pregnancy for idiots. I even joined a form online. Don't worry. Alright, we'll be fine. All right, I hear the weariness in your voice. I'll let you go now. I love you three. Goodbye, Stefan. That spy trip doesn't sound too bad right now. It was hard for me to believe anything that Stefan said to me. If he can't even elaborate about his infidelity with Sasha, how am I supposed to trust anything else that he says? So, guys, how do you think that the whole infidelity thing where Do you guys think he actually cheated? Do you guys think that, you know, it was before us, during us? What do you guys think? Leave a comment down below. Anyway, New York, here I come. So, we are headed back to New York. One week later. Ooh, it's snowing. Manhattan, New York, New York. So pretty one tier pala plaza. Well, 
I remember playing in the snow with my father until I reached adolescence. Then I quickly grew out of the entire quality time phase. I'd do anything to play in the snow once more with him. I always wondered if he'd be proud of me right now. It's so beautiful. All right, time for bed. I revent. I revert to the same answer again and again. No, he wouldn't. The problems of my parents' marriage weren't apparent to me until I got older. I was oblivious most of the time during my youth, like any teenager. Even though my dad managed to tolerate my mother with the best poker face I've ever seen for the sake of love, so why couldn't I do the same for my marriage? I know why. I'm weak. I had the right to be angry. I know I did. My des- my depressive state couldn't fade with a change of scenery. And if me running once more means that I'm weak, I'm content with it. Maybe I don't have the strength to fight or I don't want to find it. I never felt so much pressure to be a, a quaint, ac- accurate in my life. I'm not happy about any of this. Sometimes I wish I wasn't even... What is it? I... Abundant, I was abundant by the, everything the doctor told me. I hired a nutritious, a maid, and my own security. Let's just say they take their jobs very seriously. How did, how did any of this spill? We, they were a payment on my health and well-being. A total of three vitamins per day, along with five small meals to reduce the nausea, and it's helped so far. But it's not helping that I sleep damn near 15 hours a day. I know I need to be more active for the babies. I better eat now. Is this bell really necessary? With me sleeping all the time during the past week, I haven't talked to anyone. I barely talked to Brooke. I did drag her out here with me. I sort of feel bad. I'll go see what she's up to when I'm done. Elsewhere... Pretend that their jerseys say vultures. Thanks. Bye. <laughs> Let's go get this W and then we'll have a few days off. Jesse has not stopped dyeing his hair. Come on, guys. It's time for this shoot around. I can't believe we have to play on Christmas again. Comes to the territory, man. Besides, that's two weeks from now. Let's get this over with. We can't lose at home. At home, they're playing in their court in LA. Yeah. Do you think Kadarshi's out there tonight? I miss her already. Well, we won't find out in here. Havik. That's it. It's Havik. He does his hair a lot, too, so. We're currently on a five-game losing streak. We need to snap it tonight. I admit, it's partially my fault. Well, I can't get into the groove of things with Kelvin. We're not connecting, and it's showing every night on live TV, in practice, on the bus, on the ba- on the plane. But I signed up for it. I have to weather this storm and pretend like the one at home isn't happening around everyone else. Not one response. I was holding in so much. I missed Jasmine like crazy. I've been on the road for a week straight and haven't had time to stop by. I'm sure she'll probably, she's probably stayed a few days longer at the spa, as she should, but she hasn't responded to any of my calls or messages. Stefan's number is supposed to be a seven pretend by, and she has every right not to, but I'm just doing what's best for her, and it'll all be worth it in the end. We'll have two healthy babies. I better go. Stefan, let's go, man. The media wants to talk about the streak. And your chemistry with Kevin. He's already out there. Alright, I'm coming. And lying to my best friend constantly is draining. Looking over my shoulder, ensuring Kelvin hasn't slipped out a word. I wish I never met Sasha. I thought it would have been a lot easier. Time to focus and get this W. Alright, Hey, Brooke, how... Oh, no, what happened? Are you okay? Do you need some water? Whoa, I'm fine, bro. Calm down. Wow, she was already on alert. Thank heavens for that. I see the nutritional woman is finally out of hiding. Nocturnal. Sorry, nocturnal. I don't know why I messed these words up. Yeah, there's only so much sleeping I can get. But I just wanted to check on you and see how you're feeling. Like, really feeling about everything. 
well, I'm happy to be here with you and for you, but I do feel like I'm on my toes most of the time, especially because you've been depressed lately. I just want you to feel better, but I know it doesn't happen overnight. Until it does happen, I'll be here, but from afar. My fears were confirmed. My black cloud began to shadow over Brooke as well. I know there's only so much she can take, and with me like this, I can't blame her for standing 10 steps back. I can't go on like this for much longer. Thanks, Brooke. Don't worry. Anyways, where are you off to? I've been booked to do a bridal shower. Social media works wonders. This late, Brooke? I don't think it's safe. Asmund, it's only 7. You've been asleep for 10 hours. Don't worry about me. I'll be fine. I might be back a little late, though. Sticking around for a drink or two sounds fun. Have a drink for me. Oh, I wish I could have had a drink. 6.5 more months to go. Well, I'll see you tomorrow then. See you later. Text me if you need me. In brief, I'm annoying. I can't blame her for feeling that way. I'm annoying my damn self, but I want to get out of this slump. It's not healthy at all. And I need fresh air. Starting tomorrow. <laughs> Sounds like me. Starting tomorrow. Two days later. I could barely recognize myself anymore. The weight loss was apparent. My lips were dry. Roots just... The list goes on and on. I admit, I stopped putting effort forward to look great. I didn't care. But today, I felt a little better. So much better that I'm wearing something other than pajamas. That's a huge step for me. The MC is depressed. Be thankful. You can fix your hair. Bye. <laughs> I guess I could do something different with my hair. Uh, going to dye her hair black for a little bit. Let's wear her hair black for a little bit. It might make us feel better. I guess this is as good as it's going to get for now. I'm going to get something to eat while I'm out. You can go home for the day. Are you sure? I can pick up some meals for you if I'm very sure. I'll see you next week. I didn't hear anyone to question where I was going for the next couple of days, in order to keep track of me. I was quite embarrassed about it, to be frank. I'm going to be late. I'm still not running. The same thing I went to school for is why I'm here today. I need help, desperately. I can't stop thinking about him. It's eating away at me slowly. I can do this. Um, I think we're going to therapy. Okay, Yasmin, why don't we start with the basics? We are in therapy, y'all. Why did you decide to come in today? Well, I've been battling depression for the last few months. I imagine that that to be rough for you around the holidays. You don't know the half of it. I'm going through a rough patch with my husband, and now... Take your time. Since I've been back here, I can't stop thinking about my former boyfriend. Sometimes I wish I could be with him again when things were simple but made sense. That must be hard for you to still have these strong feelings while married to someone else. And since you felt that way, what have you done? Nothing. There's nothing I can do. He isn't alive anymore. I feel like I'm in love with a ghost. Meanwhile, in L.A., why am I here, Sasha? You made it sound urgent on the phone, yet you're just sitting here looking stupid. I just needed a friend to talk to, and you came to mind first. Well, start using your words. I have to get my edges rebraided in an hour. <laughs> yeah, you know how that feels. That new girls be terrible. All right, but promise not to judge me. I'd never do that to you. We've been friends for far too long. Come on, spill the tea. What? I cheated on Carter. Are we playing Simon Says? I cheated on Carter. What, where, when, why didn't you tell me? And why did you do it? None of that is relevant as the person I did it with. I kind of slept with Stefan. 
Please, Brianna. I really need a friend right. Mm. Ooh, hit her again. Hit her for again. For me one time. What the hell, Sasha? He's married. You're married. And Yasmin knows. All while she's pregnant, you have no idea what it's like. Being really hormonal and now she's feeling alone more than ever before. Please don't go. I need advice. I don't want to lose you too. My advice, Brown and Dom are engaged and now have three children. They haven't got married yet? Like, really? My advice, I could bear to sit there and talk to Sasha any longer. I've been in Yasmin's shoes before. Dom slept around while we were on a break, but that term doesn't smooth, soothe the pain of imagining your man holding someone else in his arms. And I know for sure her mood swings are out of this world right now. Fuck you. Ooh. 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 I can't lose her too. Wait up. She is. She said. F her and go on. I'll pick it up before the game. I love you too. Brenna, wait. What is it? I can't imagine what you think of me right now. But I really need your help. I haven't spoken to or seen Yasmin in months, and I miss her. What should I do? You need to come clean to your husband. Then give Yasmin her space, and I'm sure she probably wants to snap your neck. And get your shit together before you attempt any of this. I can't talk right now. I have to get, I have to get myself and my kids ready for the game tonight. I'll be sitting courtside to root for Dominic. Make it your business to sit elsewhere. Mm. Tell her. Elsewhere. I'm going to see Yasmin today before the game against Dom's team tonight. I should be at practice, but I can't stop thinking about her. I'll probably get my ear chewed off by coach in the media. Probably fine, but who cares? I miss Yasmin and the babies. So I was thinking you should come back home. Way too forward. Do you think you're ready to come back home yet? Much better. I'll practice more on the way. All right, I can do this. It's time for me to be more open with Yasmin, starting with the events that took place a couple of weeks when Sasha came over to our house. I wish I could have a drink. Mr. Rose, you insisted that this woman stay off your property. Shouldn't we call the authorities? Call them, but I'm not leaving until we talk. Let her through. Of course, I didn't want to let her through. But I had to be mindful. I had no idea what this bitch had up her sleeve. Somewhere private. This is as private as it's going to get. Fine. Is Jasmine in there? I heard about the pregnancy a little while ago, and I and you nothing. Don't worry about her. She's fine. You should go now. Down to seven. This is screwing things up for me, too. I can't tell. Your family isn't damaged whatsoever. If you came here for a pity party, you came to the wrong place. Just tell Yasmin to... Chris, can you escort Miss Vincent back to her vehicle? Fine. I know I never get far with Yasmin without being honest. This time I'm holding my tongue for the sake of the babies, nothing else. Bert's car is here, but neither of them are. Maybe they went to run errands. Sorry, the person you're trying to reach voicemail box is full. Those are all messages from me. I'll try broke. Hello? Hey, Brooke, uh, is Yasmin with you? No, she stepped out a while ago. She should be back soon. Are you two still at the spa? Spa? We didn't go to the spa. That actually sounds nice. Crazy. Where are you two then? Manhattan? It's pretty nice. Although the snow is... What? What is it? Uh, uh yeah, gosh. Brooke, you dropped the ball. The cat's out of the bag. She left. She left without telling me. I could begin to comprehend what I've just learned. And I didn't have the time to. What's the address? Rochester, New York.
my therapy session was a success, sort of. She believes I'm yearning for Andre because Stefan isn't around. Also, I never really got much closure, though I did. But why do these wounds feel so fresh? That Uber cost a fortune, worth it. I couldn't help but to retract my steps. I haven't been in here so long. I missed everything. The five-hour trip was worth it, just to remind it that a beautiful chapter in my in my began brief chapter began at this diner. Time to feed these babies. My mind was all over the place. I guess it made sense to reminisce. You're currently 12 weeks pregnant, three months. Ordering cinnamon waffles was a no-brainer. It's clear to me that I'm trying to fill Stefan's void with Andre's embodiments. I knew I'd be in therapy sooner or later after what happened. I just wasn't expecting me to take this step so soon. So I'm willing to work on my problems on my own for the sake of my sanity. Can I help you? I hope so. I was wondering if you could fill out this survey for me. It's just a basic Q&A for research purposes. Oh, sure. Why not? After the stranger gave me his phone for the survey, I realized it was nothing of the sort. In short, he wanted my phone number. Funny, say you're married, say you're caring twins. You're married. I would fill this out, but I'm married. That makes the experience much more exciting. I'm sure he wouldn't mind. I mean, you're already eating alone. Get away from me. Disgusting. Sometimes men treat women like they're nothing but a piece of meat. Although I admit it's sort of flattering to be able to still attract them while I look a mess. I almost forgot what it felt like. Usually when I'm with Stefan, no one attempts to flirt with me. It's the protection and comfort that I miss. I can protect myself and my kids. I know what I'm doing, right? No, 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 girl, we don't know what we're doing. I accidentally told Stefan where we, where we are. I don't know what we're hiding for. So, um, funny story. You never believe what slipped out today. Oh, she's going to freak. It's past one. Where is she? Bed now. Adventures never again. Where have you been? I was worried about you. Are you okay? I should have picked up some donuts while I was out. Why the hell did I send Patrice home? Brooke was being hysterical, as if I'm a toddler. Besides, besides, she basically said that I'm a nuisance. So what the hell does she want? I don't need this right now. Hello, Yasmin, are you listening to me? Not really. I assume those are the hormones talking. If it helps you sleep. Well, I have to tell you something important. Is it a life or death situation? No, but then I don't need to hear it right now. Night. Wow. Well, can't say I didn't try. I need a drink. Well, we could at least hurt her out. I mean, dang, girl. Fifteen hours later. Is it still nighttime? I couldn't have slept long. It's the next day. Whatever I'm prescribed has made me extremely drowsy. It's 6 p.m. I'm beyond annoyed that I missed my therapy session. Oh, well. I need the rest anyway. I'll see you next week. I'm starving. No. Am I drinking? Oh, shit. You snore much louder now, you know. It's kind of cute. So he based his mean... I couldn't read him whatsoever. I knew that me leaving and lying about it was at the wrong. Maybe I was being selfish at the time, thinking only how it benefited me. The only thing I want is for him to be upset with me. I'd love to hear it every night, but not in that bed or the one at the spa. Let's try the one we have in California, not New York, Yasmin. I quickly regained my composure. Yes, I was a bit angry. But I know that being compactive isn't necessary, especially in Yasmin's condition. In short, I just missed her. I got on my private jet right after the game was over last night. Brooke let me in, and I waited until Yasmin finally woke up. Come over here. I deserve that. It, the least. Cut the waterworks. Cue the waterworks. Start apologizing. Hmm... Start apologizing. I mean, we could apologize or we could cry. That might get us, you know, 
of the situation, Pastor. What? Really? Are you sure? Oh, yeah. <laughs> um, let's cue the waterworks. I'm sorry. Please don't cry. Just relax. I'm here. I'm here now. That's all that matters. I'm taking you home. See? See? Waterworks help. I quickly accept his warm embrace. He wraps his muscular arms around me tightly, pulling me as close as possible. Softly, he nuzzled his face into my neck. For that one minute, everything felt still. For that moment, I forgot about all of our problems until I remembered why I left in the first place. Why the hell am I sorry? Get off of me. I lost my mind for one second to actually apologize to you. I'm not sorry. I wanted to get away from you, and I did. And you're not taking me anywhere. I'm staying here. Just get out of here, Stefan. I deserve that. Baby, I don't want to argue with you tonight, please. I won't make you go anywhere. If you want to stay here, I'll adjust to the thought of it. Let's go out tonight. No. Who does he think he is? If he thinks I'm going to leave at the drop of a dime when he says so, he's got another thing coming. Ooh, sorry, guys. Come on, babe. I hear your stomach growling. We can go get your favorite pizza. I'd rather eat a frozen one. This is not up for debate. I'm taking my wife out to dinner and a movie. Besides, I don't want you or the babies eating that processed crap. I'll get dressed. LOL, that's kind of hot. <laughs> don't face him. Fine, but only because I'm bored. Contain your excitement. Don't ruin the moment. Babe, do you need help showering? Don't push your luck. Can't blame you for trying. I can't believe I convinced her to go out with me. Well, pleaded to nonetheless is a good sign. Step. That one was stunning when she woke up. This swell I'm aware of. Gradually, she's getting back to her old ways. I can only hope she's altering mentally and emotionally as well. It's difficult to ask without stepping on her toes. Besides, there's no rush. Things can be fixed overnight, and I'm not expecting them to be. Once she eats, maybe she'll be a bit more open about how she's truly feeling. Stefan, my face is up here. Sorry. Let's just go before I change my mind. I'll get the door. He's so annoying. I've never felt so confused in my life. After scanning the menu for 15 minutes, I'm sure he noticed uh, that I'm uncomfortable. A part of me wanted to get up and find the nearest exit, hence why I haven't removed my jacket. Another part wants to enjoy the time, enjoy the time that I have with my husband. I haven't enjoyed anything in so long, I'm afraid to. My eyes met Yasmin's more than a few times. Every time she quick, every time she quickly flipped over the menu to read the other side for the tenth time. I just want to make her feel sure of herself for tonight, at least. And that might be too much to offer for the time being. So, anything catch your eye? Mm, not sure yet. Let's see what the waitress recommends. Good evening. Welcome to Larry's Lucky Lobster. Where we value our customers like no other. Try the butter. <laughs> what do you recommend? The lobster. But it's all lobster. Exactly. Can I speak to the owner of the place? I'm sorry about that. Uh, rough night with the tips, maybe. That just doesn't justify her talking to us like that. I'm going to get this resolved. Stay right here. Yes, sir. I didn't mean it like that. Just go figure out the food situation. The place had terrible service, but I hope you get things sorted out. Lobster, you tire. It's all so much for where we are in our marriage at the moment. I know this is all in effort to repair things with me, but I wish I was in my bed. Andre loved frozen pizza. In a thick Spanish accent, 
I want to personally apologize to you, Miss Rose, for the staff's behavior. A woman of your stature and beauty shouldn't have to endure the likes of that. I hope you enjoy the private dining floor. I, Lawrence, also known as Larry, will personally be at your service tonight. He's so nice. Thank you so much, Lawrence. I, you can go now, Larry. That was completely unnecessary. He was flirting with you right in front of my face. I couldn't let that slide. Eh, being friendly at the most. That's the kind of friendly we don't need. You should know a lot about that, wouldn't you? Yes, then I can I eat in peace. I knew I had to change gears if I wanted this night to process smoothly. Stop staring at me like that. Being pregnant, things grow, including these. Now you can stop drooling. Sorry, apologizing for my my wife's body is a feeling that I couldn't come to terms with. So, have you thought of names yet? Honestly, no. Sometimes I wake up and look down in shock. I never thought I'd be pregnant so soon. I know, but how are you handling it on my own? Sorry, but I like to think I'm adjusting a bit or trying to. How's basketball going? I haven't managed to watch a game. Uh, I don't want to talk about work. I want to talk about you. Okay. Well, I feel really small to be three months. Do you think your mom was small while carrying you? I have no idea. The fact that the fact is the woman hasn't crossed my mind until Stefan brought her up. She really didn't tell me much about her pregnancy with me when I was younger. I don't know anything about her at all. Do you think you're ready to sit down and talk to her with her yet? I'm not too sure about that. I'll think about it. LOL, there's nothing to think about. Whenever you're ready, I'll be there with you. I ease my hand onto Yasmin's side for a sign of reassurance. Simu no, she placed her hand on top of mine. I believe you owe me a movie and buttery popcorn. Of course. Let's go. Aw, we're making progress. It's not so bad. It's great, trust me. It's about to start. I forgot your popcorn. I'll be right back. I admit, I was enjoying Stefan's company. I tossed my worries to the side for the moment to actually live in it. I felt no more again for the time being, especially with no press around us. I love crappy horror movies. <laughs> Ooh, somebody got caught. <laughs> and thrown out. Popcorn for the lady. Thank you, baby. Poor thing. Stefan. Stefan, wake up. Not even 30 minutes into the movie, he began to snore. There's a good reason he just played a game yesterday and has to be back on the road tomorrow. Babe, wake up. Did I fall asleep? I'm sorry. I. It's her right. Let's just leave now. I'm pretty sure the killer is a roommate anyways. Are you sure you want to leave? We can stay. So you can continue to drool? No thanks. Usual tool, you know. Come on, let's go. Oh, we're slowly getting back to normal. Slowly. It probably won't be a whole situation. But I feel like everything will be completely back to normal between us and about. I'll make a prediction and say four episodes. In four episodes, we'll, all be, we'll be back on track with Stefan. Anyway. This room is perfectly fine. Is that bed comfortable enough for you? I've had smaller beds before, I know, but you weren't carrying twins at the time. We'll replace it when you begin to get bigger. While you pregnancy check the place, I'll be in the bathroom. As was out of her mind trying to stay here throughout the entire pregnancy, I'm not sure taking elevators is okay while she's like this anyways. What if she begins to feel sick in the middle of the night? Brooke isn't her husband, I am. She needs to come home, that's it. Jasmine, I... What? You look beautiful. You've been feeding me compliments all night. You can stop now. I'll never stop doing that because they're all true. I slowly bowed my head for... I slowly bowed my head for my lips to find 
asked Miss Delicate Spot on her neck. Surprisingly, she granted permission to do so. I want you. <laughs> Every time I wish I could like put um put like the videos and stuff like in the middle of the thing, cause I would always put that when jumping up where is that girl and Sasha song is like, <laughs> but <laughs> anyway, guys, sorry. I want you to right now, hello, my boy. Let's go. Hmm, what we gonna do, y'all? What we gonna do? You know what? Let's just, we want him to. I mean, it's been a while. You know, we're going to start getting bigger. We probably ain't going to be, you know. We ain't going to be trying to do all that. We're bigger, so let's go for it. He wants you now. Then take me because I want you to. I love you. I love you too, baby. And just like that. And just like that, he was all over us. 4 a.m. Wait. I'm going to miss you a little. I don't know how it happened. It just did. Damn it. <laughs> it was the heat of the moment. And it was sen sensual and passion filled. I almost forgot what it felt like to be touched by him. And that's why I'm like this in the first place. <laughs> so I think you should come back home. What? I already said I'm not going anywhere. I know what you said, but that doesn't mean I agree with it. You need to be home with me. Oh, and when is that? Three days out of the week? Besides, there's none thing and no one there for me. I'm just trying to do what's best for you. Don't you trust me? I don't. Unless you can prove me wrong. And you know what you have to do for that to happen. Please tell me the truth. I deserve it. Please. I'll happily do that. Yes. I mean, no. I'm not even sure if I want to hear the details of it. I'm so disgusted right now thinking about it. In due time. Not right now. There goes our progress. I thought we were improving. Even if it was just for a little. It was something. It gave me hope. All of that faded away. Again. I'm so sick of this game. I need space. Wait. What do you mean? I mean exactly what it sounds like. I refuse to play the waiting game. While you toy with my heart in the process of it. You won't even talk to me. Please just give me time. All right, I'll call you tomorrow when you're in the right mind. I am in my right mind, and I want you out of here. Okay, I'll go. I'll call you. I'll call you when I'm ready to talk. All right, I deserve that. I love you three. What the hell? What the hell happened to us? Oh, everything fell apart. Everything fell apart. Two weeks I have passed since I asked Stephanie for space. You're 3.5 months pregnant. You've been going to therapy twice a week. I've been going to therapy twice a week. And, well, I felt like I've taken 10 steps back. Christmas is literally around the corner. And it's not getting easier being away from Stefan. We talk every other day. He's also flying out here for my daughter's appointments this week. I can only hope I've made the right decision. But needs to hurry up before we're late to yoga. Maybe she left her keys. The devil in $10,000 heels herself. What are you doing here? It's lovely to see you too. Oh, God. Mm, yet yeah, she's back. So, apparently, his mother is back. God. We hate his mother. We hate our mother. We just don't like really like mothers. Oh, okay. But anyway, that is all for this episode, guys. Leave a comment down below on how many episodes you think it's going to take before the MC and Stefan, you know, get back on track. Other than that, um, I will see you guys in the next video. Bye.